one two. Hello everyone. Before we start this video, urgent. Hello everyone. Before we start this video, an urgent fundraiser here from Rebirth Energy to purchase two minibuses for supply purposes for the 120th Brigade in Bakhmut. Rebirth Energy is a charitable organisation who provides support and humanitarian aid to the front lines. They are well worth supporting and these minibuses are urgently needed. Any help would be greatly appreciated. So I have a little artillery strike for you here. On a T-72B3 which was hiding in some trees in Shevchenka, Zaporizhia region. It looks to be one of those accurate one hit, one KO strikes we see time and time again. And there's a few interesting things to look at in the screenshots too. But this tank was lightly empty, but not abandoned. Efforts has been made to hide it, so it was an active tank, one which had been parked up for reloading, maintenance, or to give the crew a rest, something like that. So let's check out the screenshot. As you can see here, there are at least four, possibly five, hiding spots for vehicles. Quite obvious ones too, they stick out like sore thumbs. Number one, I'm uncertain if it's a hiding spot for a vehicle, but there is a trail leading into the trees, so it certainly looks like it could be. But this could also be possibly where the ammunition for these vehicles is stored. Number two, you can actually spot a vehicle there still. Looks to be an infantry fighting vehicle, so a lesser target than a tank. So let's check out where this took place. So it was here. The tank's position is shown by the marker. And as we saw, scattered around this area are a number of other vehicle berms too. Here's its location zoomed out. So it's south of Shevchenka, near a town called Novoselivska, which has appeared on a couple of videos of mine before. Here it is on Deep States, it's just over 11 kilometers from the front line, so it's well within range of most of Ukraine's artillery systems. Now I'm not sure what was used here. It was a one-hit KO, so it could be Excalibur. But we have seen Ukraine's artillery gunners getting single-shot hits with other artillery pieces too. As you can see when I zoom out, this region is located on the southern front of operations, and as we can see on Oryx, 304 T-72B3s are listed so far and 1000 T-72s of all variants. And this is just visually confirmed losses. The true number will be higher. Russia had 2030 T-72s of all variants in service last year. So over half of the T-72 fleet is gone. So it's no surprise that none of the T-72s made an appearance at Russia's Victory Day Parade. But no doubt, many of them will make an appearance at Ukraine's future Victory Day Parade. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.